<laughs> you know, it's a different time. It's a different time. So these, and then that's another thing that interests me too, is that signed and dated in the same way that a drawing would be. And there's even a DNA factor, because sometimes he licked the envelope, you see, or he licked the stamp, and it's in there. And if anybody doubted that this was our collaboration, see, that's what I'm missing out. I'm missing out the fact that this is a collaboration. See, we work together. And I'm lucky, because he could write. You know, he knew what he was doing. And the way I work with these things is I don't have any catalog, and I don't record any of the letters. I don't keep copies. You get the original letter and it's gone. And I think that's a good way of doing it. And the way I work, for instance, there's a piece over there which has sort of clover-like shapes. It's like lower down. And it's about the crop circles, which you'll have heard about. You know, in England they happen overnight. You know, people wake up and suddenly there's this pattern in the fields and they want to know why it's happening. Well, the way I work with these letters is I have them in a big bag and I just put my hand in and I think I'll work with a letter, I take it out and it's like receiving that letter today. Because even though I received it before, I'm opening it and I read and that one was about crop circles. And it gave me a theme. It gave me something to work with. The other things that are in them are things that um, we all have to deal with. My mother's death crops up again and again. But how does he deal with it? He deals with it in such a cultured, pragmatic way. This is what happens. The bloke next door comes and he gives him a little rose tree or he gives him some bulbs. Constantly people are giving each other stuff, plants, you know, for them to grow. And my dad takes it to the cemetery and he plants it. And it's connected. This is not virtual stuff. This is how you ritualize death. You know, he's, in these letters, he's forever walking back to the cemetery to see my mother, who's not seeing him, but it's given him comfort. And that's part of his theme. Laundry's a big part of his theme. <laughs> you know, laundry comes up like again and again. You know, I was up this morning, you know, I had the clothes on the line by 8 o'clock, and by 10 o'clock I was ironing. And I got them done. You know, and it's important to him, he gets it done. The weather's on his side. And the other details, football, a global topic. You know, a footballer from the Northeast is playing in Italy, so he mentions it. See, they're not insular because although the themes are domestic, you know, they're about neighbors and domestic preoccupations, he's also in touch because Princess Diana dies in the tunnel. And it, he reacts and he records it in the same way that Samuel Pepys would re react and record his time. Um, he mentions Saddam Hussein in the 80s saying, we better get this sorted out, you know. <laughs> and it's one man's opinion, but it's relevant because it's the same situation that we're all in. We're helpless, we have got no idea what's going on, but we rationalize it and we make the best we can, and that's why I'm still working with the letters. Now, there's another side to it, which I just, if you can bear with me just a little bit longer, I won't talk for much longer, you'll be thinking, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> hang on a second. There's another aspect to it, um, and I've forgotten what it is. Um, <laughs> let me think now. Where was I? Uh, Saddam Hussein. Excuse me? Saddam Hussein. All oh, right, Saddam Hussein, <laughs> continuity. Right, 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 right. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, do, I do appreciate the input. <laughs> um, let me think now, let me think, where, where am I going with this? All oh, right, uh, towards the end. I've got notes, but they're over there. Um, let me think now, this is, how is I going to tie this up? The, uh, I better just look at, the, oh, here's an interesting thing. <laughs> this here with the odd colors, this was an examination that my father took in 1928. It was a standard examination for the army. Now you can look at this, and I defy anybody here 
to do this exam and pass it. I mean, it shows you, you know, the way standards have changed. You know, there's, there's algebra questions in there, there's questions about geometry, and I look at it and I think, my God. Now, the other lovely thing about this is there's a precy and there's also a mathematics problem, and he did them, and those are his decisions. You know, he underlined what he was going to keep. And there's another subtext to this, too. This was set by the British Army, and it's loaded with jingoistic martial terminology, you know, because it's designed to get the cannon fodder in. And we all know that that's, like, you know, still going strong. <laughs> So I might just leave it there, and if anybody, you know, feels, you know, to, if anybody wants to fire a dart, then um, <laughs> I will attempt to deal with it. I mean, if there's anybody who's got any questions about how it's done, or, hello? Yeah, Try. how it's done, the technique you use. To oh, this is together. all, um, it's, I use matte medium, which is a water-based acrylic. Mm. It's a very good adhesive, but it's also, it works almost like lamination. They're, archivally, they're very strong. You know, you can flick them and touch them and they don't, you know, they, they're, they're tough. It goes on like milk and then it becomes clear. So it's water-based and the rest of it is acrylic paint. So how do you get the acrylic paint on top without covering up the, um, the, the writing? Well, patiently. <laughs> um, but sometimes, another strength that I've found of working with the letters, and one of the things that I really loved about it, is the fact that this airmail paper is semi-opaque. So you can actually put imagery underneath, and you can put messages underneath. So there's another subtext to it. Um, and I find that stimulating. And when I run out of letters, I'm going to write more. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were going to see. Count on the left, it looks like they're uh, subject for essay questions. Is that what they are? Yes. Did your father write an essay? Do you have a copy of it? No. Do you know which one he chose? No, I don't know which one he chose. There are, you know, gaping holes in, in you know. It's That's quite an exam for a military. Thing. It certainly is, yeah, I agree. Yeah. A little, I have faith in art and I have faith in music, but I lost my faith in the Catholic Church for a variety of reasons. However, I'm still interested in it. And these were the prayers of an Irish mother. What I attempted to do was to take the dogma out and take all the kind of hardcore Catholicism, but keep the poetry and keep the kind of phrases that would help you through the day. You know, about the struggle, about the, the metaphors to do with the hill you know, climbing up the hill and sliding down the other side, hopefully. Uh, so the poetry is stressed in these. That's the idea behind it. Is that it. Teach Peace? Is that the name of it? Teach Peace, yeah. Most of these, the titles come from the text. It gives it a sort of a, um, a game quality in the sense that if you were if you're looking for the title, it'll be somewhere either in the my dad's letter or it'll be in the text somewhere. It'll be hidden. It'll be a phrase that'll be there. Does each painting only contain one letter? Or you said you reach into a bag. Is there, are there it varies. Convert? It varies. Sometimes, lately I've been thinking that there's one over there, for instance, that when you ha there's a cross. I'll come back to the cross in a minute. But there's one that has just a phrase, and I think it, it, it's called my last sheet. Mm -hmm. Because in the letter he says, you know, I've got to get to Woolworths because, you know, this is, the, <laughs> this is my last sheet. And that's how it is sometimes. You run out of paper. But uh, that's a case where you isolate a phrase. There's one at the back by my mother. I have very few letters from my mother. She wrote the same letter every time. <laughs> and, the, and the letter was, say your prayers and stay off the drink. <laughs> but that one's interesting because when she wrote it, she was making some, she said, oh, I've got a bit of ham. And then she starts writing about the bit of ham, and the letter turns into a re recipe. Because she said, oh, I'll put a bit of corn flour in, da 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 And then it's starting to smell good. 